This is the machine that I built. It doesn't just have one two hand. It has six. If you are new to this, here's what our style changer is. Most 3D printers use just one tool head, one also that can print everything from start to finish. But the system changed that. The style changer let the printer automatically swap between multiple tool heads during a single print. It uses magnet and a locking mechanism to dock and undock all two, all controlled by software. What I mean is that I can print with a different nozzle, materials, or settings all in one job, without touching the machine. It's like giving your printer a toolbox instead of just one tool. So now you know what a style changer is, let's get back to our project. This is where I start. As you see, the frame is already assembled, and some of the electronics are already in place. Since the old power supply is only like 200 watts, I'm gonna swap out for a beefy 600 watt for mean bill. Next, we'll wire up some two heads. One on, six more to go. Just finished wiring all six of the two head. Let's connect them to the same system. Next thing that we gotta have to do is to calibrate the XY offset. For an XY offset calibration, I use a 6 bolt probe. By inputting a command, this would automatically probe each tool and output its exact offset value that I need to input to the config. Originally, I was using a Sherpa mini extruder, but I start noticing some extrusion inconsistencies. After some testing, I've realized that the issue came from the small drive gear. With cheaper gears, even small imperfections in diameters can lead to uneven filament flow. So how do I fix it? The first option was switching to a single drive extruder, like a Galileo 2. These are designed for simplicity and reliability. The second option was sticking with a dual drive design, but using a larger drive gear, which could reduce a minor extrusion inconsistencies. Why? I'll use this clip for Mirage C explain. When you shift the hub gear, the effective diameters of a hub gear changes depending on which side is in contact with the filament. As you can see, there's some different, not by much, but enough to cause some visual distraction. So in the end, of course, the large gear extruder is cheaper. So I stick with that. Since the switch, Extrusion being a lot more consistent. Now let's calibrate the printers. So in the end, what did it actually cost me to build this thing? First, 
you need a standard Voron 2.4. That's the starting point. Then you add six two heads, each one with a hot end, extruder, fan, and a can board. On top of that, that's all the supporting electronics, a clipper screen, UTC can adapter, 600 watt mean wheel power supply, wirings, connectors, and I also include a CNC shutter upgrade, and also a custom hat. Altogether, that bought the total cost to around $2,000. Thanks for watching. Got any question about the build, or idea what I should build next? Leave a comment below. I would love to hear what you think.